10 and three a couple years ago, three and eight last year. What did you learn from last year's experience that can help you get back to that level of raising a sectional championship like you did a couple years ago as a sophomore? Um, it's not really all about the talent. Um, leadership is a big role. Uh, I think we got enough leadership this year. We can do something with younger backs. Well, we'll have some uh, experienced linemen that will do something this year. When you take a look at having to replace, you know, guys that started and played a lot of football like Bucky, like Caleb, who are some of the younger guys that you see stepping up on, on the offensive side of the football? Uh, Caden Freet is a big one, our fullback. He'll be, I think he'll fill uh, Higginson's shoes well. Um, tell me about this offensive line, because last year um, you guys didn't have as much experience, and when you think about Belmont football, you think about, you know, trying to be physically dominant up in the front, kind of three yards in a cloud of dust. Yeah. So how is this offensive line better this year, and who are some of the guys that are going to step up on the offensive line to, to play even better than they did last season? Uh, last year we were, it was kind of our first year being in varsity Friday night, so this, this year it's not just figuring out what we have to do. We know what we're going to do. We just need to bust it and get it, get uh, the threes. Who are some of the guys that you see on the offensive line as, as uh, much improved based off last season? Um, Braden Shaw's our, he'll be our center. He's a good one. We all feed off him, so he'll be good. Uh, final question, your expectations for Belmont here in 2017? Put a hurting on everybody we play. All right, perfect, my man. Thank you very much. When you take a look at this unit um, on the offensive line, what impresses you and what are you excited about as we enter the 2017 season? Uh, I grew up with these kids my whole life. Like everybody that's like varsity right now is like friends I grew up with, so that's nice. Uh, I don't know, we've always just been close, so that helps a lot. When you take a look at last season, you know, it was it was just a couple years ago you guys were 10 and 3 and lifted a, a sectional championship trophy, but 3 and 8 last year. What do you learn during that experience that can make you better this season? Uh, well, we took like a big hit when all those seniors cuz there was like a class of a bunch of kids we lost all of them so we didn't have a line last year like a great line and we got some decent kids coming back so I think we'll be good this year. How much do you put on the line because when you think about Belmont football you think about you know being physical up front dominating up front you know all those all the successful wrestlers yeah. uh, utilizing those skills from the mat on, on the football field. Yeah um, I don't know honestly it's just like we do have a lot of wrestlers on the field like a lineman like all the linemen wrestle actually so um, when you take a look at the, this year's team, who are some of the guys you see stepping up offensively that can uh, play bigger roles for Belmont in 2017? Uh, Caden Free is an animal, and he's only going to be a sophomore. He's pretty good. Uh, our quarterback's younger. He's only going to be a junior, but he's decent in our line, of course. And I don't know. we got some receivers that are going to stand out, too. Tell me about defensively. Who are some of the guys stepping up defensively, and how do you uh, become more successful on the defensive side of the football? Uh, Derek Simon is going to be a big part on the line. He's going to fill a bunch of gaps that we couldn't do last year. Uh, Caden, Trevor, all them guys are going to hold it down on the passes and stuff. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, sir. I'm excited that I'm playing with a lot of people I've played with for six years now. And, uh, you know, we're really upbeat. And being a senior, I'm just excited going into my last season, ready to give my all. Um, last year, obviously, you know, 3-8 and eight was not the record that you wanted to have coming off a 10-win season. So what did you learn during that 10-win season? What did you learn last year that you can apply to make your senior six season successful? Um, it's all about up front, our line. Offensive line does good. You can put any running back back there and they're going to do the job. So as long as them boys are working, uh, working hard out here, we're going to be all right all season. When you take a look at defensively, uh, Coach said you got a lot of experience back in the secondary, but what are some of the things that you like about this team defensively and who are some of the guys that are going to be playing big roles for you guys on Friday night? Um, I think as soon as we get Shaw and Gerwig back, there'll be big help up front. You know, win it up front. Like I said, line is, is a big part of the team. And then if our backers feel fast, you know, stop the run early, we'll be all right. When you take a look at uh, the Northeast State, there are a lot of offensive firepower type teams out there. As a defensive unit, what do you have to do to kind of counter what you're going to be seeing on Friday nights? Um, our secondary's got to be quick to the ball, quick on covering receivers, ready to swat anything away, big picks, again, big turnovers. Last year, what did you guys learn as a defense that you can apply this time around? Um, you know, more hustle. You know, always getting the ball, 11 men of the ball. You know, takes more than maybe even one to tackle somebody or if teammate misses. So we got to have 11 men on everybody. Uh, this is Coach Ballard's second season. So where were you at at this point last year as opposed to where you're at at this point this year? You feel like you're like maybe a little bit ahead of the game as opposed to where you were last year? Yeah, I felt like uh, some of the teammates last year, they weren't so, you know, into their position yet. You had a decent amount of young guys. And uh, I feel like we're so much more ahead of that. You know, we're running our offense. is pretty much all where we need it to be. Um, Coach, obviously uh, it's only been, gosh, five, eight days now uh, of fall camp. But you've seen these guys throughout the summer. 
What do you like and what excites you about Belmont as we enter the 2017 football season? The excitement and the enthusiasm of this group has been off the charts. Um, with that, it's, it's only going to transfer to the game. Um, ever since we started camp on July 31st, um, the kids have bought in. We haven't even selected our captains yet because we've uh, pretty much got a cluster. We don't know who we want to pick. So um, kids are stepping up. They're getting everybody pumped and ready to go. So by far, it's our enthusiasm and our uh, get after it. Talking about the offense, uh, Belmont's known for having, you know, kind of three yards and a cloud of dust and, and kind of uh, physically imposing their will, if you will, starting with the trenches. Uh, last year, you guys had some experience on the offensive line, but tell me about the O-line this year and who are some of the guys that are going to be playing big roles there and then also how that kind of sets the tone for what you want to do. Um, right now, uh, we've got some experience back. Uh, Derek Simon's pretty much our leader on the offensive line. Um, he's our senior, and we've got a stable of young kids that are doing a heck of a job in there as well. But honestly, last year, that was our weakness, was our O&D line. Um, and I had to figure out why that was in the offseason. We made some adjustments, and they have responded extremely well on both sides of the ball. Um, we've switched from a 3-3 to a 4-3 uh, to utilize our extra linemen, um, and uh, I think it's going to pan out well. Um, as far as... You, you said Simon, and you've got Braden Shaw up there. How are those guys leading this offensive line, and how are they kind of using last year as motivation to kind of turn around things, starting with what you guys do in the trenches? Sure. So we've got uh, our, our seniors. So we have Shaw as our center, and Simon is, is a guard, and we have Jaren uh, uh, Gerwig, who's our other guard. So we have a nice, solid senior offensive middle. Um, and uh, on defense, Shaw has just been – unstoppable. He was one of the top tacklers in the NE8 last year. So I expect him to play a big role and expect him to be a leader this year. Um, he's lost 30 pounds from last year because really he wants to wrestle 220. So he wants to stay around there, but it's made him faster and he's still just as strong. So of course I expect big things for those seniors and uh, it'll just trickle down to those younger guys. Defensively, what are some of the strengths of this team and who are some of the guys that are going to be looked at to provide bigger roles uh, on Friday nights for Belmont in 2017? Um, overall, I mean, everybody's been solid. You know, of course, Braden's going to play, play a big role, but we have all-conference uh, returner in Mills, um, Aaron Lehrman. He's uh, probably our most athletic kid on the team. He's a safety, junior safety. Um, we've just got some athletes all around, just solid kids that uh, play hard, get it done. Uh, going back to offense real quick, uh, obviously Bucky played a lot at quarterback. You know, two-year starter, Caleb was huge for you guys, the bell cow for the last couple of seasons. Who are some of the guys that are stepping into the quarterback and running back role this year? So right now we got Noah Macklin at quarterback. He's a junior. We also have Jonathan Wilder as a sophomore. They've both, both done an excellent job. Uh, as of right now, I think Macklin's pretty much taken that role. Um, he's become a leader and he has a nice touch and he's probably the fastest guy on our team. So for me, having a quarterback as a fast guy, um, we don't have a problem with that. We'd like We'd like our fastest guy at quarterback anyway, so it works out well for us. Um, and then at running back, we have a stable. Of, we have uh, uh, Matt Lachlan, we have Mike Metz, both seniors, but they also play slots, so they're interchangeable, our fullback and our slots. And we have Mills, and Corey Miller stepped up. Um, we've got a lot of guys to pick from, so we can constantly be rotating those guys in. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? Nope. We're ready for the season to get started. All right.